If there was one modern American movie director that you'd expect to make a decent horror movie, it would be Eli Roth, right? I mean, this is the guy behind the awesome Hostel series, as well as the entertaining Cabin Fever. So I would trust him to make something fun and enjoyable. And you know what? My trust was in good hands because this movie is a riot. It's cool to hate on movies. It's also really easy to do it. I did it recently with Creepy Pasta, but that was a really terrible film. But there's something quite fun about Thanksgiving that should keep you enthralled for the whole runtime. Maybe it's the smattering of black humor or the entertainingly gory kills. Maybe it's the classic who is it stalker killer character or the fact that this movie feels straight out of the 90s with just a few modern twists. Whatever it is, this movie reminds me of all those 80s and 90s horror flicks I loved when I was a teen because this is just a pure horror film with no added bullshit. Set on Thanksgiving or the eve before Black Friday, I don't know the difference, we don't do those things here in Australia. A deadly riot breaks out in a large store where bargain hunters literally kill each other to nab a free waffle iron. One year later and the town has almost recovered from the tragedy, but a masked killer taking the shape of John Carver is stalking and killing the people responsible for that deadly evening. A pure, simple, good old fashioned, easy to follow plot. What more could you possibly want from a horror movie? Kills? Well, you get plenty of them, and they're gory and oh so wildly entertaining. From a lady being cooked alive in a commercial grade oven, to a cheerleader being stabbed underneath a trampoline, there's a lot of creativity here. And it all appears to be practical effects. No terrible CGI or digital blood splatter, well at least none that I could see. On top of the gore, Roth has added a wicked sense of humour to the film. They are small fleeting moments, but they give the movie a sense of personality and charm that reminds you of your favourite 90s slasher flick. The who is it in the mask element might be a bit too obvious for the attentive viewer to work out, and the series of red herrings give off a very familiar feel. Is it the ex-manager, the ex-boyfriend, the new boyfriend, the new sheriff, or the old sheriff? You might not know until the end, but you'll have your suspicions along the way. Shoutouts to the cast too. Patrick Dempsey as the sheriff is good, Gina Gershon's cameo is far too short, and Rick Hoffman, who I instantly recognized from Roth's Hostel, is great as a sleazy store owner. I really like this. I thought it was a lot of fun. I laughed at the kills, I squirmed with the kills, but more importantly, I enjoyed the kills. And I hope you give this movie a shot because there is value to be had here. I'm the Artie Dance, you're watching Shock Mania. Thank you for watching this review. Please press like and subscribe if you're interested. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next review.